What's the difference between your first show and this show coming up? Well, I think the first show was more of, of, of jumping and what to, you know, not knowing what to expect. This one right here, you know, you learn more about, you know, the medical eye exams, you know, what individuals need in order to put on the fight. So I think I think it also allows me the chance to build a relationship, you know, with the manager and the fighters and the matchmaking and stuff like that. And, and you're making more uh, boxing connections as far as the business side? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely, which, which is great, which is yes. great. And what's your future plans, you know, either this one? We're going to keep going. We're going to go. We were thinking about October 14th, but we're actually going to go December 6th uh, back here. And then we're also going to look at two states in 2020, uh, West Virginia and Utah. Well, okay. So we've been in contact with them to put on uh, shows out there. So we're growing. So you're going to pretty much broaden the, broaden the venture for, for, your, for your, uh, your brand, right? There's, there's no point in just stopping in one state. Yeah. We're trying to go full circle. How about uh, D.C.? Any thoughts? Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, not yet. I'll talk to some of the promoters out there just to you know, kind of get a feel for it. But we've probably been a nation capital. So what, what other promoters you've been uh, working with and talking to? Uh, Greg Cohen worked with them uh, on last show. I think he has a fighter um, on this show. Um, outside of that, Shabazz, he definitely gives me advice. Uh, you know, anytime I can call Big Brother up, he's going to give me advice. He's going to set me straight. Yeah. So what's, what's your goal as far as promoting? Uh, build build the fighters. And I feel like you know, all the fighters who are trying to get to know your top rank or golden boy, they got to start somewhere. So you might as well start with us. Yeah, and you sign one fighter some more. Any future plans of signing more fighters? We got a few on the table. We're not going to disclose yet, but we got a few. And there's actually home home based talent who wants to stay home. So we're going to give them that three four fights a year and allow them to move on. Talk a little about the one you do have signed. Uh, Philippe. Philippe. I mean, he's a tremendous fighter. Uh, brings a great crowd. He's fighting for a belt uh, tomorrow. Uh, great fan base. Uh, great management. Great team. I mean, overall professional team to work with. And how did that come about anyway? You get, you signed him? Well, me and Coach Dave uh, from Hitchhawk Hit Our Box and actually went to a show uh, in Virginia and we actually saw him and I noticed, you know, I think I think he may have fought Greg Hackett, but we noticed when he was fighting and when he left, the crowd was cheering and when his fight was over, about 100 people in the crowd, you know, was cheering him on and left with him. So, you know, I did my research on him and noticed that he wasn't signed and, you know, I see him as a future world champ. Yeah, and what do you think about the, that one loss that he took early in, on in his career? Well, I, I mean, to be, to be quite honest with you, I mean, it was a learning experience for him. I mean, I think he said it himself, he, he was fighting a different style, southpaw. Um, but, you know, he got his confidence back up. His last fight knocked the guy out, I think, the second, third round, do what he had to do. And then tomorrow, he's going to do what he has to do and win this belt. So how are you going to push him as, as your fighter coming up throughout, you know, through the ranks? I mean, we're going we're gonna to push him slowly. I mean, we're not just going to throw him there with anybody, but he has to be tested. You know, we don't want a situation where he's never tested and getting with a tested opponent and something happens. But I'm 100% confident for him. You, you probably talked about this a little earlier with someone else, but how many bouts tomorrow? I think we're at nine. Okay. Off the top of my head. So it's, it's going to be a good show. We're going to get these doors open and we're going to go, and especially with Torres' final fight. All right. How's, how's it uh, hosting that? You know, that's a big thing, hosting that fight. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's definitely, you know, a lot of people uh, talk about, you know, what Tori brings to the community, what Tori brings, uh, you know, in women's boxing as well. You know, she, Tori only has two losses, two, two uh, multiple world champions. The yeah. first show, and I think the hammer, that's it. You know, Tori's a world champion. She's very professional. She's here to put on the show. And so it's, it's, it's an honor for us to be able to host our last show. All right, thanks. Absolutely.